Welcome back. This is still the AM show, and I'm about to have a conversation with my friends from GIZ. We're talking about renewable energy and how GIZ is bringing together stakeholders to discuss its viability in Ghana. So joining me is the cluster coordinator um, and programs manager for GIZ Ghana. Um, I'll let him introduce himself because I don't want to mispronounce your name at all. Um, so do you just want to tell me to pronounce it for me? Hello. Hi. Hi, it's Tangmar. Tangmar. Tangma. Okay, Tangmar Marmon. Yes, exactly. Yes? Okay, awesome. And also, Professor Francis, again, I'm not going to try and pronounce. Yeah, it's Francis Kemal Son. Kemal Son, senior lecturer at, I'm not going to say Knust, mm -hmm. at KNUSD. Um, well, welcome um, to the AM show. Thank you for being here. Okay, so um, do you, you're, you're going to start with me? I can start with you, right? Yes, of course. Okay, so what is the role of GIZ in Ghana? Could you throw some light on your activities in renewable energy for us? GIZ yes, is the German Development Corporation, part of the German Development Corporation on behalf of the German state. Mm -hmm. And um, there is a negotiated agenda between Germany and Ghana, between the two governments. Okay. And uh, GIZ is later on executing part of that negotiated agenda. In the field of renewable energy and energy efficiency specifically, we are working together with the Ghanaian state, most of all with the Ministry of Energy and the related agencies um, to bring down the depth of the energy sector to make energy more affordable, bring more energy to the people okay. where they do not have that yet, mm -hmm. and to make it more climate friendly, bring down greenhouse gas emissions from okay. energy production. Okay, okay. well that's interesting because we know that our energy debt is quite high um, at the moment. So it would be interesting to see, I mean this is a little bit off script, but I mean when you, you look at, at, at the climate of Ghana, you know, how we handle our energy and the, the kind of renewable energy that we're producing and stuff, is it, like, is it, are you hopeful that we're actually going to be able to, you know, make some really Change, some changes that will actually make a difference? Yes, of course, that yeah. will happen. That will okay. happen, um, I wouldn't say in the short term, okay. it will happen in the mid term. This is the plan of the government of Ghana okay. as well. And um, as I said, Germany is not driving any particular ag agenda. We are um, assisting the Ghanaian state in, okay. in pursuing its agenda. And it is on the plate of Ghana to ramp up production of okay. renewable energy and to make energy cheaper for the people by that as well. Okay. And, and for the state either, so for the public sector as well as for the private business, mm. as well as for every household. Um, and we are assisting Ghana in that common agenda, I would say. Mm. And then there is the linkage to the global agenda because okay. Ghana committed to the United Nations mm -hmm. in bringing down its greenhouse gas emissions. They had just, for the COP26 in Glasgow two weeks ago, yeah. they had just submitted their nationally determined contributions. Mm -hmm. In those, they said, we, the government of Ghana, commit to bringing down the greenhouse gas emissions of the people of Ghana. And we are assisting them in doing that. Together, we are, we are finding ways of how to do that. Part of, is it, uh, part of this is um, uh, build, building up more renewable energy in Ghana okay. and more energy efficiency, because the cheapest energy, the most climate-friendly energy, is still the energy you don't waste. Yes. Of course. Um, Prof, let me come to you for a second, just to expand a little bit. I mean, so GIZ is talking about supporting, you know, Ghana's agenda, you know, and all of that, and assisting. What does that assistance look like? What does the assistance look like? Like, what do we need um, help with? What, what do we need the assistance? Like, how do we need it? What does it look like? Right, so Ghana has a, a renewable energy master plan uh, mm -hmm. in which we have some targets um, up to 2030. We are hoping to develop the different resources we have, you know, solar, biogas, wind, etc. Um, obviously, we need some technical support. Um, we need to do some more feasibility studies. We need to do some more resource assessment. Um, we need to do, uh, I mean, we need to look for money uh, for, mm -hmm. s for some investment. And uh, GIZ is in a poor position to do this, uh, okay. together with some of their, uh, their funding partners. Okay. Um, so there's a the GIZ EMOP roundtable discussion. Yes. Um, do you want to tell us what that is about? Yeah, so it, uh, it's meant to be a, a quarterly roundtable discussion. Mm -hmm. uh, this is the, the maiden edition. Uh, what we are doing is um, we're going to look at some topical issues in renewable energy, but also energy efficiency. We want to look at how 
industries who take on board renewable energy to to be able to reduce their uh, energy bills, okay. but also to take on energy efficiency, which can cut uh, their energy uh, demand and therefore reduce the bills that they, they pay for electricity. Okay. So aside from what Prof has said, um, in terms of achievement, what are you hoping that the roundtable discussions will achieve? Well, I hope always um, for a common understanding. We, we have to get a com to common understanding of what the problem is, because only then we can together search for solutions. Um, mm -hmm. So whatever we do is, um, we, we, we usually go about it in a way of bringing government, private sector and civil society together so that we do not have antagonism later on, but mm -hmm. a shared agenda. And this is part of this driving a shared agenda. Mm -hmm. Whatever we do, and I think in Corona times, it's, it's ever more important mm -hmm. to stress that we base it on facts and science, on sound science. I mean, we have KNUST here sitting. Um, so this EMOP panel, the maiden edition of today, that is exactly what we are doing. So we're discussing with the state, we are bringing in the private sector, we're bringing in civil society to find meaningful ways forward, which will okay. later then have to be translated into actions, might be regulations as well by the state, and that then will eventually translate into companies building up solar PVs uh, on their own rooftop, okay. more solar um, uh, power stations mm -hmm. being built up in Ghana once there is, arises the need uh, for more uh, energy, more energy efficient buildings here, for example, that are just um, uh, wasting, wasting less energy, maybe more energy efficient appliances around. Um, and all that is eventually for the good, not just of the public coffers, but as well for economic development. Yeah. It makes companies more competitive in Ghana because they have less running costs. And it is always with the view of us, GIZ, helping the state and the private sector to create green jobs. Okay. Okay. Um, Prof, do you want to just tell us about who um, are some of your key contributors um, to this roundtable? And then after that, you can just run us through, you know, when it's happening, who can come, where it is, you know, how people can get involved. Right. So um, we have the regulators uh, who mm -hmm. are going to be present, um, the, the Public Utilities Regulatory Commission. Uh, they, are the, um, they are the financial regulator of the electricity sector. There is also the Energy Commission, who is the technical regulator. Uh, we're going to have um, a section of the private sector, uh, including the Association of, of Ghana Industries, because this is very important to them. Uh, we're also going to have um, service providers uh, and their umbrella bodies, like the Renewable Energy Association of Ghana, the, mm -hmm. the Biogas Association of Ghana, and some of the other uh, umbrella bodies for, for solar, etc. The event is happening at the... Um, um, uh, um, Malisa Hotel. At the, yeah, Malisa Hotel. And then um, we... I understand it's going to be uh, live on TV, yeah. the, the panel discussion. So um, there is uh, some space for um, the fiscal presence of some who have been invited. But okay. I understand that GIZ is also making available a Zoom link that um, people can use to join okay. uh, the discussion, apart okay. from watching live on TV. Okay. Yeah. Sounds really interesting. Um, it is. Anything yeah. to say before I let you go? For me, it's really important to stress one thing. That German assistance to Ghana in the field of renewable energy and energy efficiency is about bringing down greenhouse gas emissions. Mm. Now, Ghana is not a major emitter in Can the global yeah, context, yeah. Yeah. but Ghana has the potential to be a role model in the entire Western African region. Mm. Other countries are looking to Ghana. You're the most developed country here. And this is why we put so much emphasis on Ghana as a country, mm. because we work in over 120 countries, mm. countries worldwide. Um, but I see more than a national interest in what we do. It is of regional interest. It can be inspiring to other countries. I think the government sees that as well. Mm. I think the government is well aware of, of this kind of role model uh, function they, they can take over, which makes it much more important for us to do a good job. Okay. Well, thank you so much. And um, we look forward to that. Um, joining, there'll be a Zoom link available, also be live on TV, so you definitely can't miss it. Thank you um, so much. We're going to take a quick break. When we come back, um, we'll be joined by our friends from Podjoba. Um, don't go anywhere. <laughs>